What's going on guys, it's your boy TMI, I am the Mass Investor, and welcome back to the channel. What we're going to watch in this video is Jon Stewart going straight at the neck of corruption, calling it out in its face. Although it makes people feel uncomfortable to be called out, what happens with your tax dollars, what happens with the money that everyday people are charged for almost every purchase they make should be accounted for. And if there are different rules for the haves to the have-nots, it's an issue, and obviously it usually is a sign of corruption. If you haven't yet, do me a quick favor, smash that like button, engage this video. The more engagement, the more people will see it. First the intro, then the video. Enjoy. Like these are unfair questions of of somebody within a department of that size and scope. I Do, think you feel that, you, I that think it's, you're, that it's I think unfair. you have an, a particular thing you really want to talk about, and you're asking me other questions. But I don't think it's unfair to ask me about the audit. It's absolutely the case that the United right. States military should be able to pass an audit, and we've got to be on that pathway to get there. But don't you think that that does speak to the larger point that we're trying to get at, which is good journalism uncovers corruption and okay that, i mean good journalism doesn't cover corruption yeah. but i'm not sure these two things are linked an audit oh, is not but they are okay so you need to explain to me do you understand what an audit does and the so you see what happens here this is kind of like gaslighting right where you feel a little bit of pressure you then take that pressure you kameha meha and send it right back at your you know interviewer or whoever's asking you the questions Let's keep this going. Degree to which it is linked to the question that you're asking? I believe so. Okay, go ahead. Give me your explanation. Learning. Uh, no, I, I, <laughs> I don't mind learning. So what, what I would suggest is... What what was that note that she just hit? What was that high pitch? <clears throat> oh, what was that? C, a C sharp? Was that, was that a C, C sharp? That uh, the audit that they have in, in the military doesn't really look at... Um, whether or not there's efficacy, it's just whether they got delivered the thing that they ordered. And they that, is, that is any audit. That is any audit. That is true. But generally, those audits aren't $400 billion for Raytheon and $1.7 trillion for a plane that doesn't seem to be doing. Like, there is a lot of waste, fraud, and abuse within a system. Audits and waste, is. fraud, and abuse are not the same thing. So let's uh, decompose then these please pieces please educate me on, on sure. what Sure. So the, an audit is exactly what you just described, yes. which is, do I know what was delivered to which place? Right. The ability to pass an audit or in a, the fact that the DOD has not passed an audit is not suggestive of waste, fraud, and abuse. That is completely false right there. So... So what is now it's a question of? of it's suggestive that we can't we don't have an accurate inventory that we can pull up of what we have where. That is not the same as saying we can't do that because waste, fraud, and abuse has occurred. So, in my world, yeah, that's waste. How is that waste? If I give you a billion dollars and you can't tell me what happened to it, that to me is wasteful. That that means that seems. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. I mean, maybe I'm wrong here, but that seems perfectly reasonable to me. If you can't tell me where $1 billion went, it seems like you're either wasting my time, uh, you are, uh, you know, disrespecting my intelligence here, or that's a waste of money. It's, it's really one of the three. And the, the, my time in this situation would be taxpayers' time, would be your time. And that's the interesting part in this. Let's keep it going. You well, are we not <laughs> responsible. But if you can't tell me where it went, then what am I supposed to think? And when there has been reporting, I mean, this is not, like, I'm not, I'm not saying this is on you and that you caused this, but I think it's, it's a tough argument to I'm make sure that cause it. <laughs> an, an $850 billion budget to an organization that can't pass an audit and tell you where that money went like, I think most people would consider that somewhere in the realm of waste, fraud, or abuse because they would wonder why that money isn't well accounted for. And especially when they see food insecurity on military bases and they see... You want to talk about that? Because that's a good... St we should be talking... I mean, well, I'm trying to all, understand is, where, where, where you're trying to go other than the dollars, which really well, bother you. <laughs> I think it doesn't really bother me. I I, I want to understand where you want to go other than talking about the money that we can no longer find. 
you know, I know we got a lot of money and we put the money someplace that we can no longer find it. But why are we talking about it? <laughs> Can't we just talk about some other things here? Like uh, anything else? I think it's all connected. Okay. I think tell when me, I tell look... Tell me that story. Tell, tell me how you're thinking well, about that. Well, when I see uh, a State Department get uh, a certain amount of money and a military budget be 10 times that, and I see a struggle within government to get people like more basic services, and then that... Uh, department that got that I mean we got out of 20 years of war and the Pentagon got a 50 billion dollar raise like that's shocking to me now I may not understand exactly the ins and outs and yeah. and the incredible uh, magic of an audit <laughs> but I'm a human being who lives on the earth and can't figure out how 850 billion dollars to a department means that the rank and file still have to be on food stamps like to me that's fucking corruption. I'm sorry. And if, like, if that blows your mind, and if you think, like, that's, like, a crazy agenda for me to have, I really think that that's institutional thinking and that it's not looking at the day-to-day -day reality of the people that you call the greatest fighting force in the world. So, I just, again, I get back to this idea of, like, I'm not looking to pick a fight with you, but I am surprised at that the reaction to these questions are, you don't know what an audit is, bucko. Like, <laughs> that's just weird to me. Okay, on uh, food insecurity, uh, major priority for us, a lot of funds are going toward that. Change the subject. biggest issues we have found, uh, first of all, we have significantly increased funding on, on food insecurity. Um, and we do think we are getting much better on that. Um, we believe some of the challenges we face are not what you, uh, you know, often think of as, you know, food insecurity as hunger. They're really around, uh, do we have food available? For instance, as people come on and off shifts, mm -hmm. is it healthy food? Um, those are the types of food insecurity issues we are seeing in and around our military installations. We have increased pay two times in a row here. We've done 4.6% pay raise last year. We've asked for 5.2% pay raise this year. We've also increased basic um, allowances and increased housing uh, and pay uh, uh, and other allowances. So overall, we definitely think we need to increase the spending that we are putting forward toward our service members and their families. We're putting our money where our mouth is. Another big area is child care. Mm -hmm. Spending a lot more money on child care. That includes both child care facilities and it includes um, uh, uh, a benefit that allows folks to go out on the economy to get child care and have that subsidized by the government. And that's all I got right now. Thank you guys very much for watching. A quick reminder, if you haven't yet, guys, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.